Hey, Larry, you know what's coming up? I don't know, Ben. What's coming up? The holidays. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to Ben and Larry Watch Shit Flicks, the Christmas special. I got us a Christmas movie, and we're giving Netflix an extra star this week. We're going to watch a two-star movie. Somebody's in the giving spirit. Come on. Believe in Christmas, and let's go watch a Dean Cain Christmas movie. Bah, humbug. Small Town Santa. A bah humbug sheriff needs a serious attitude adjustment. But it's never too late for a Christmas miracle. Yeah, yeah, it's got Dean Cain, so I think he should be able to pull it off. You know. Don't let us down, Superman. You're not gonna show it? Oh, 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 cheap, oh, cheap. Merry Christmas. When's it gonna start? I don't know, when's it gonna end? <laughs> <laughs> that was the best of the whole movie right there. When's it gonna start? I don't know. When's it gonna end? <laughs> it had Dean Cain. And they did make a superhero reference. So, you know. At the very beginning of the movie, even. Yeah. Right in there. You get it. Real heroes don't wear capes. Ah, <sighs> synopsis for the movie. Small town sheriff, Dean Kane. And he seems like a good guy at first, but then you discover that he really just doesn't like Christmas. He is divorced from his wife, but she is psycho. He has an estranged daughter that really wants to see him, but he can't go see her because he has a crazy ex-wife. And he finds out that the job that he really wanted in the city is no longer there. A guy breaks into his house. Doesn't know who he is. Uh, you find out Santa. Santa. Show him the error of his ways and uh, get him back in the holiday spirit. Uh, introduce a new character who turns out to be his romance. And their kids get in trouble and bring the two adults together. And everybody lives happy, happy, happy. Ben, what's that out the window? I don't know, because we're not looking at anything. <gasps> huh? Oh. <clears throat> because this is shit flicks, let's get into the bad. Um... The set was kind of a little bit lackluster. The jail cell, which was, you know, supposed to be their kind of main focal point for, I think, most of the film, really. Uh, you could see that it was made out of uh, some pieces of wood until you looked at the door being opened and the hinges were just those cabinet metal hinges. And uh, that made me lose my Christmas spirit. The creepy Santa scenes. So overall, Santa was a pretty good character. Towards the beginning of the movie, he was just sort of creepy because he just kept telling people that he knew all about their kids and stuff and the adults were acting all weird. And it's like, you don't know this is Santa. And he's like, oh yes, I know if they're naughty or nice. And that's just, that's just weird. Dean Cain has a dream sequence oh. with like five other Santas played by other dudes. And, and it gets really creepy. It, it gets like almost... Almost zombie-like. And they were saying some hurtful stuff for being a Santa. Oh, yeah. They called him a bad husband. Ah. Uh, and a bad father. Ah. Uh, Just all the hurts. My favorite part of the movie, I would say, would be the underlying message and kind of themes that even though things kind of look shitty, if you take a glance at the whole picture, things kind of fall into place with a purpose. Santa's speech was just freaking awesome. I mean, it really kind of hit home. You were like... Wow, Santa, you are a wise old red jolly bastard. My favorite part of the movie was the story as well. It's a <laughs> Christmas movie that's supposed to sort of inspire you or be just uplifting and have a good message. Yeah. And, and it did that. If you look past the technical parts, the writing was decent. Mm -hmm. Not the best, but decent. And there were some really good moments and then there were some kind of blasé moments. I would definitely call it a good family movie. If you were Santa, what advice would you give me? <laughs> Shit! 
I can't be put on the spot like this! The pressure! <laughs> the hat! Heavy is the head that wears the crown! Um, wow. I would say, Ben, always keep your heart open and give as good as you get. Wow, Santa. That's some really good advice. Ho, 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 ho. Larry, you don't have to try to act to be a good actor. Just be yourself and you'll shine like the northern star. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Thank you, Santa. That's what you wanted for Christmas, right? Uh, life advice? Yeah, you know, not really. But <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> that should be... It, that's what you wanted for Christmas, right? No, I actually wanted, like, a motorcycle, you know, whatever. Yeah, no, I wanted something, you know, to make myself happy for the holiday. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, I wanted world peace for the holidays. Ah, ah. You know, your lack of excitement reminds me of the little kid in the movie <laughs> that all he wanted for Christmas was... A Commando Dutch action figure mm -mm. bouncing up and down watching the commercials. Oh, he wanted two of them. He wanted two Commando Dutch action figures bouncing up and down while he's watching the TV commercial. And then at the end of the movie, when he actually gets both of them, his dad is like, look, look what you got. What'd you get? Commando Dutch. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. High five. I want to reference that child a little kick. Like, this was his expression <laughs> when he went up to the window. Maybe he got into Grandma's, like, you know, a little bit of Grandma's cough medicine. Because Grandma was kind of boozing it up the whole film. Yeah, she was a little creepy. She was, uh, like, all over every dude that came in their house. Yeah. And she was like, don't call me Grandma. Mm, I want me a strong man. <laughs> she was too aggressive. <laughs> Would you keep this at two stars? You know what, man? Maybe it's just the holiday season, or maybe my heart is growing two times bigger than the space it's supposed to be. But I would have to say, I want to give this three, two, three and a half stars. I'm going to agree. Three to three and a half stars, because it, it was a lot more, it was decent. Yeah. But it wasn't perfect. Thanks for watching our video. If you liked the video, please like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And from the bottom of our hearts at Brass Engine, happy holidays. And ah. a Merry New Year! Is it done? I don't know. Is the camera off yet? I don't know. I think I, I think the red light's still on. Yeah, it's still on. So you should like sneak out a shot and turn it off. I can't. They're still watching. Okay. I'll distract them. Their vision's based on movement. Okay, okay. You're ready to go. Hey guys, hey, 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 hey. What's your favorite, uh, what's your favorite uh, holiday movie, huh? Huh, huh, huh? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey. Give me a second. Ah! <laughs> Shine. Hmm.